Hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you 15 hacks that make Unreal Engine easy. The fastest and easiest way to make moving and rotating objects is to first make a blueprint, then add a cube, then a rotating movement, then a interpreter movement, add three control points and use the drop down for the middle one to set the value to 100. Change the behavior type to ping pong. The quickest way to add particles and effects to your project is to go to edit plugins and search for Niagara. Right click and create a new Niagara system. Choose blowing particles. Open it up. Select the material in order to change it. Create this cool slow motion effect by opening the level blueprint and get a T keyboard event. On pressed, get a flip flop node out of the A, set time dilation and set the time dilation to 0.1. Control D to duplicate that. And out of B, we'll choose 1. You can do something similar in your level sequence. Create a new level sequence. And add your camera. I'm going to assume you kind of know this. Then add a time dilation node. Add keyframes to change the amount of time dilation. You can increase or decrease it. Create a new blueprint class and search for a shake and choose the default camera shake base. Open that up and change the duration to zero. That means that this will now last forever in our level sequence. Press the plus. Press the plus by the sign camera actor and search for a shake. Select the shake that you made a moment ago. Go to the top of the screen and under selection mode, choose modeling. Select the stairs. Place them in your scene and click accept. Next, go to X form. Choose pattern. And this can be helpful for setting things out in your scene quickly. They can go in a line, a grid or a circle. And you can rotate them. And this is very helpful for setting out lots of objects in your scene quickly. Lastly, you can change the pivot point. So choose pivot point. If you close your outliner or your details tabs, you can open them back up by going to window, load layout, default editor layout. You can go to settings and choose engine scalability to increase how fast your computer can run. You can let the computer decide by pressing auto or you can choose low for very fast speeds. I usually use medium settings with global illumination set to high so that I can keep using the lumen. You can easily import mountains by going to selection mode and choosing landscape mode. Here, you can choose import from file and in height map file, click the three little dots and choose a height map PNG. You can download these from websites like Motion Forge Pictures and there'll be a link to these free height maps in the video description. So once you have that downloaded and imported, should look something like that. 
with one of the sections of mountains selected, you can go up to select and choose select all landscape to select all of them. You can go back up to modeling mode and choose extrude along path. Make sure that the staffing is enabled and change it to 100. So you can now see that when we click to draw, it snaps to those grid lines. You then want to turn snapping off and you can now choose thickness. To migrate files between projects, click on the content browser icon next to the static mesh to locate the folder which your file is contained in. Right click on the folder. You then simply have to drag the files into the folder of the project you want to transfer them to. You can make a super simple water effect by going to your plugins and enabling water. You can now click on the square with the plus at the top of the screen and search for water body lake. This will add the water effect to your landscape. To make a fog level, open up your environment light mixer. Scroll down to your exponential height fog Increase the density and decrease the fall off and then in the fog scattering change it to white. These shortcuts will help you navigate Unreal Engine more easily. Press F to zoom to a selected object. Press 1 to return to the benchmark. To take a screenshot, first press G to simplify your scene. Then go up to the three lines next to perspective on the top left and click on high resolution screenshot. Capture this and that will be saved to your file. To quickly lay out foliage in your scene, open up Quixel Bridge. Then simply download the foliage and come up to selection mode, choose foliage and select all the foliage items. You can now change the size of your paintbrush and you can just paint them on. To delete an Unreal Engine project, go to your library, right click on the project and click show in folder. Then delete everything. And that's it. Thanks for watching everyone, um, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe, and yeah, bye.